What is up, YouTube? You know what it is. It's your man Jenks back out here with another video. And today, this is just going to be a little story time video. <clears throat> I was actually thinking about this a couple of days ago. I was like, you know, this should probably be a, a funny little story time. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, plus, I need to put up some content too. I haven't put up a video yet. It's been a few weeks. But, um, let me get into the let me get into the story time right quick, all right? So this is a kind of this is a little this is a little funny it's a little funny video. I mean a little funny story. So about uh, I want to say when we at 2019, so back around four years, three years ago, maybe we had three and a half years ago. Me and my ex decided that we wanted to go jet skiing one day. This is when we stay together. We decided we wanted to go jet skiing one day, right? So we take a ride. We used to do like like random things, like when they have the kids or whatever. We would go do random stuff, like go take trips here, and, you know, go do some local stuff or whatever. You know, what I'm saying holidays or birthdays or whatever. So, I mean, one time we took like two random trips just to Texas, and I don't think I've ever been to Texas twice in the same year, not months apart anyway. But anyway, so we decided to go down to the Cape. We was all we was down at a. Uh, what do you call it? I think they call it. I think it's called Gulls Beach or something like that, or Seagull Beach or something like that. But it's right in Hyannis. So we go down there. We, you know, we go grab a pair. Hold up. Before I get into that, right? Mind you, I have been to pools, beaches, and places with this person plenty of times, and just never. And just never. All right. I just want to kill it. We've been to bulls. We've been to bulls and peaches. You know what I'm saying? A few times, you know what I'm saying? And um So anyway, we go we, we leave from our hotel, we go down to the beach spot. It's right right by this hotel. I forget what it's called. I wanna say it's a red something, not the red roof in, but the red something. And um we go get our jet skis, you know what I'm saying? I asked her, I was like, Do you want your own jet ski or do you wanna ride with me? But she had decided to ride with me. I didn't think nothing of it, I just figured she just wanted to ride with me, so cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm driving. And um we get on the jet skis, you know, we're, we're out there on the water, we're just, you know, so this is the second time I've ever been on a jet ski in my life. I mean, the, like, the last time I was on a jet ski was probably like maybe 10 years before that. And this is the, you know, I'm having a ball, you know what I'm saying? And we're like way out, you know, we're like a little past from where, because they send these people out with you, you know what I'm saying? They send these people out with you so they can watch you over you, make sure you don't get into trouble or, I don't know, look out for sharks or whatever, I don't know. But they go out with you. And, um, you know, we're just, we're just out there and we're jumping waves and stuff like that. And, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, we're having a ball. So we stop for a moment and we're just on the jet skis. We're just talking or whatever. Now, the way we were on the jet ski, we're going with the current, going back in the shore. For somewhere along the line, and I think it was a ship that was in the shipping lane behind us. Um, we caught the, uh, the wake of that ship. So when that, when the wave hit us, it kind of rocked the jet ski and it it kind of threw up off it threw us threw us off balance so the jet ski's tipping over and the only thing i could think of as the jet ski was tipping over is when they said listen when you guys go out on these boats if you if you uh flip these over or damage them in any way um you know you gotta pay 200 dollars we already had spent enough money um, that weekend. That was like our last day, I think, that we was out there. So we decided to go to jet ski and stuff before we went back to Boston. And um, we got caught in some type of cross current. So, you know, she's going, she's balancing this way, I'm balancing this way. And for some reason, the whole thing started coming over. So I myself was trying to jump off. So the thing was trying to like rebalance itself. You know what I'm saying? But she ended up jumping off too. And um, so we both fall in the water. You know what I'm saying? We both fall. We both fall into the water. I surfaced first. I didn't even bother. I didn't even bother look to see where she was. You know what I'm saying? I just I could hear her behind me, but I figured we would just both swim back to the jet ski, right? Next thing you know, and I honestly thought something had grabbed me at first that wasn't human. I wasn't sure. You know what I'm saying? So next thing you know, I something grabbed me on my shoulders and pulled me under. And at first I'm thinking, oh shit, this is a shark? Cause we are in, we are in, I won't say that part of the water was shark infested, but there's been shark sightings. We were in at least a good 10, 12 feet of water, you know? 
The next thing I know, as I'm coming back up, because I felt I felt hands, and it was, she was the only one named me, so I knew after a while that it was her. So I resurfaced. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Are you crazy? She says, I can't swim. The only thing, you know how, you, I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you know, you have like a recap of your life, you know, like a certain situation happened, they say you see like the, the um, your life flash before your eyes. It wasn't like that, but all I could do is recap all the times we've been in pools or uh, the beaches or the bathtub, <laughs> whatever, you know what I'm saying? I never knew, ever. Like it just never surfaced. I think because um, I've seen her in the water, you know, we've been in the water so much together that I just assumed that she could swim so and mind you at the time i'm right now i'm 200 i'm 219 pounds when that happened i was 247 i was very i was very very heavy back then we, we ate like pigs because we were just but for some reason she was she was able to make her little hourglass shit and you know the sexiness and i just if you go look at some of my old facebook pages papers um facebook pictures especially the ones from like um Washington DC and Maryland yeah so so the first thing I do I go into defense mode you know what I'm saying I, I'm trying I'm trying to rescue her now and get my big ass back on the um the jet ski at the same time so um, I managed to get her back over to the jet ski mind you the jet ski is drifting away from us because it wasn't like locked on to us we fell off it wasn't like locked on I guess they do that as a precaution so if you was like high winds or something you wouldn't get dragged i'm not sure but it wasn't locked into it but i had the key strapped to me so when she got back on i was trying to tell her to put the key and you know I'm, I'm going a little i'm a little like delirious now because like i said i was caught off guard with the whole not knowing how to swim and then i started panicking because the way my weight was at the time i, I used to get like um bad uh heart palpitations so one of those kicked in as i was trying to rescue her and i was just like oh man stuff is all this is happening at the wrong time so first things first i get her back to the um i get her back to the jet ski meanwhile the, her, the jet ski that she's on is drifting away and i'm like i'm like put the key put the key in the um the thing to come and get me you know what i'm saying and she's like the, she's like the key is on you and i was like oh my god i was like i'm gonna die out here the water I could only, if I had, I could touch the ground, but I had to stand like on my tippy toes to get like, like the water was right here, and that was on my tippy toes. Had I put my feet down flat, it would have been up there. So the first thing I did was um, trying to figure out a plan to. I couldn't even swim back. That's how that's how bad it was because my, my heart was just like hitting too fast, and I couldn't like put in the energy to like you know swim back to the um, the jet ski, and it was like moving away so fast, so. One of the guys who's like out there on the jet skis that watch us see me fall off and um, he didn't notice that I got her back to the jet ski first and I was just like, it just looks like I fell off and I was just like drifting away or whatever. So he swung around, he swung around and came and got me. Now my whole thing was I was going to just hang on to the back of it and let him just like drag me over to my jet ski. He's like, no, 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 you got to get all the way on top. Last thing I wanted to do is try to pull my big ass up on that jet ski, which I knew I had to do with mine, but I was like, oh my God, this dude just can't pull me over by the edge of this and I could just jump on his gas. He's like, no, 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 you gotta get on, you gotta get in the seat. I was like, all right, man. So, you know, my heart palpitation is starting to kick up now. You know, my heart's like, like literally my heart was like this. And um, we got back on the jet ski. We had to switch sides because she was in the front and I had to get back into the front. She had to get into the back. So we was hoping we wasn't going to fall off again. I was like, listen, we got to do this strategically. So we switched sides. And at first I was going to go in, but I just, I moved myself. I moved us back into like more shallow water just in case we did fall off again. We could like walk the shore or swim the shore with our feet on the ground. But once I got like further inland, um, the palpitations had stopped. So we just went back out and uh, jumping waves and all that. I'm telling you right now, that thing's not always kicked up to be. Usually people jumping the waves and stuff like that. When that boat hits the ground again, right up in your groin, man. I don't know how many times I got hit in the nuts. 
from the jet ski, but it was fun. It was good. It was, I had to say we had a we had a ball out there besides that little mishap. But um, that that whole not knowing how to swim thing caught me off guard, and I never knew the whole time we were together. I never knew that. So, Miss, if you're watching, you almost killed us that day. But I managed to save us at the risk of my own life. You know. So that was just a quick little story time, y'all. I just want to put that story out there. It was, it was. I mean, we did have a great time. You know what I'm saying? Any, any trip I took with her was like good times. You know what I'm saying? We always found our own little, you know, ways to have fun. Even if there wasn't like a, um, an event involved, and we just went there just to go. You know, we figure out our own fun. Out there. But we had a ball. You know, it was good fun. So that's just a quick little story time. If y'all enjoyed the story, like, comment, subscribe. I know it was short, but. I just wanted to get it out there and um just some updates so i was supposed to be putting a, doing a podcast pretty soon i actually just found a platform <clears throat> excuse me i just found a platform that i can um do the podcast on that i can stream it on so i'm gonna be testing that out um with my cousin from texas i'm gonna be like co-hosting it from here and there and um as long as he's able to get on the feed and um like live and it's it's like stable and it's not like crashing or anything like that but we're gonna try to test it out either in a couple of days or this weekend and we should be good to go um there's another platform that i found but it costs like um it's like 30 dollars a month but i like it because it has like a production switcher on it which a production switcher is like so if i'm talking now and i ask a question and then he answers the camera will automatically switch to his camera so y'all see him talking at the same time and vice versa so those are things we're working on now film stuff i can't really say because i just lost my main location where i really want to start things from so if i have to i have to start shooting things backwards and then do the first scene which i don't like doing i like to go from beginning to end but uh if i find another location then we can you know i can start that i'm, I'm, I'm doing it a lot later than i said i was but you know, this is the only year that's happened, so. Uh, what else? That's about it. I'm gonna be doing some more vlogs, some more reaction videos, um, and things of that sort. So, if you're a subscriber to my page, hit that post notification, hit that like button, leave a comment, um, get with me on my Instagram, all the descriptions gonna be down below, my Facebook, and um, just support your boy, man. I'm on my way to 100. Oh, that's not like a, did I just see that snark coming right now? Although that's not like a big number to say, you ever see other YouTubers, they be like, oh yeah, we on, we on the road to 3,000, we on the road to a million. I'm on the road to 100. Okay? That's all I can say. I'm on my way. So, be patient. Other than that, y'all, that's pretty much it, man. Um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and um, I will catch y'all in the next video. I can't believe she didn't know this one. Like I never knew that that was like so that was, I was caught so off guard, but it, and I also kind of felt kind of bad too because had I known that she couldn't, we wouldn't have one of those jet skis. Maybe like parasail or something like that, but I wouldn't have risked risk, risk, risk that and put her on a jet ski knowing that there was a chance that we could have fell off. And had that water been any deeper than what we was in, it probably could have got bad, you know. So, but I managed to save us both. Although I was almost close, pushing close to 250. I'm a big ass. So. Alright, y'all. See you in the next video. Okay?